Good morning, everyone. We gather here under very extraordinary circumstances in the immediate aftermath of an attack on the United States Capitol, on the House of Representatives, on the Senate, on America, on democracy itself. The insurrection that was violently perpetrated by enemy combatants and seditionists was an attempt to halt a constitutional process and overthrow the government. It was an act of sedition that was incited and encouraged by Donald Trump. And that's why he must be held accountable to the full extent of the law. President Trump has engaged in irresponsible behavior for years. This is nothing new, but it is the logical culmination of his willingness to perpetrate lie after lie after lie, undermine our democracy, and march the United States of America toward authoritarianism. We will not allow it to happen. The seditionists who attacked the Capitol wanted to stop members of Congress from doing our job. They failed. We returned to the floor of the House of Representatives to certify the election of Joe Biden and to complete our work under the Constitution of the United States of America. We will never allow mob rule to prevail. We will continue to uplift the rule of law. It's my honor to be joined by members of the Congressional delegation, all of whom will speak to the issues that occurred in the attempted insurrection against the United States of America, as well as the way forward. Let me simply say this. Donald Trump must be removed from office immediately. He should be impeached, convicted, and thrown out of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue and forever banished to the dustbin of history. Every second, every minute, every day that Donald Trump remains in office presents a clear and present danger to the health, safety, and well-being of the American people and our democracy. That is why the House is pursuing every available means at our disposal to accomplish the objective of holding the President of the United States accountable. The seat of government in America was attacked on Wednesday. The congressional delegation thought it appropriate that we convene upon returning to the districts that we represent here in New York City to stand at the seat of government of our beloved Big Apple. And I'm so thankful that as a result of the leadership of Mayor de Blasio, he was able to work with us, facilitate this gathering to demonstrate to the city and the country that we stand united and we will defend our democracy no matter what it takes and decency will once again prevail in the United States of America. So thank you, Mayor de Blasio, for your leadership as we say in Washington, I now yield to the distinguished gentleman uh, from the great city of New York.